Now for a look at your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. The U.S. government has now shot down the Chinese surveillance balloon after it floated all the way across the country. The military waited until the balloon was over the Atlantic Ocean, but still within U.S. airspace. Officials believe the balloon was maneuverable. One person is dead and two others are in the hospital after a truck crashed into a bus on I-80 in Auburn before hitting four other cars. Westbound lanes were closed and traffic was temporarily rerouted. Still no word on why the truck crashed. Police in Ronklin are asking for help in a two-year-old hit-and-run cold case. They say Trevor Swan was killed when he was hit by a car on Sierra College Boulevard near Scriber Way. Anyone with information can call the Sacramento Valley Crime Stoppers. Police in Sacramento are looking for 13-year-old Kylie Vang. She was last seen on Balacitos Way in South Sacramento wearing a black shirt, ripped jeans, and red Crocs. Protesters gathered in Lodi today calling for justice in the killing of Enzo, a three-year-old husky that was tased and killed by police. It happened on January 24th after police got a report of a dog attempting to bite a family with young children. Animal Control was able to tie up the dog twice, but he broke free both times and that's when police tased and killed him. Police have now made an arrest in this shooting inside of a San Francisco synagogue. Police think that the man was firing blanks because no one was hurt and no damage was done. 51-year-old Dimitri Mission was booked into jail late last night. The California Department of Public Health now says the COVID vaccine will not be required for children to attend school. The state's COVID-19 emergency declaration expires at the end of this month. Police in Turlock voted to donate $1,000 to this family after seven-year-old Miracle had her wheelchair stolen. Here's a photo of the Melgoza family accepting the donation. About 50 train cars flew off the tracks, sparking this fire in Ohio near the Pennsylvania border. Nobody was injured, but people living in the area were asked to stay in their homes. No word on what caused the train to derail. The San Joaquin Asparagus Festival is set for its 37th year. It'll run from April 14th through April 16th. Tickets for adults run at $20 apiece. And that's a look at your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.